Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to use Elementor Portfolio widget. This widget is a part of Elementor Pro plugin. So you will need Elementor Pro plugin. Using this portfolio widget, we can create portfolio of different blog posts or WooCommerce products. So this is the portfolio of blog posts. Here I have created portfolio of WooCommerce products. You can also create portfolio using custom post type and you can show the portfolio items using this Elementor Portfolio widget. So if you are using a third party the portfolio plugin then you can also show portfolio item using this portfolio widget so let's see this is the portfolio of blog posts and all the blog posts are listed here so these are the different categories of blog posts so when I click on this blog post it will open that particular blog post now let's see the portfolio of WooCommerce you will see all the products under different categories here so these are listed as portfolio if I go to booking you will see the products under bookings cosmetics if i go to ebook you will see the product under ebook electronics so these are the electronics products services subscription affiliates so these are different types of products listed under portfolio so when i click on this one it will go to that particular product page so this portfolio widget can be used to show post pages landing pages products testimonials and if you have any third party plugin to show the custom post type, then also you can use this portfolio widget. So let's start with the video. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. So let's go to one of the page where we will use the Elementor portfolio widget. So I'm on the home page. So in the previous videos, we created this animated text using Elementor and testimonial sliders, or you can say testimonial carousals using Elementor Pro as well as one of the free Elementor plugin. Now let me add a new section here. Let me add some padding also, top and bottom padding. Okay, now here search for portfolio. Here you will see the option portfolio. So this is the part of pro plugin, let me show you. These are the basic elements and this is the pro element. You will see portfolio under pro. So you will need element of pro for this. So let's select it, drag it and drop it here. By default, it will take the portfolio of blog post. Let me show you. Let's go to dashboard and go to post. Here you will see three dummy posts on this website and it has taken the blog post for the portfolio. So if you do not have any blog post, then it will not show anything here. So you will need blog post. This is the basic layout. Let's go to query and instead of blog post, you can also show pages, landing pages, products. It shows products because we have a WooCommerce plugin installed on this. If you do not have WooCommerce, then you will not see this option here. Testimonials, this is because we have a free testimonial plugin also installed on this website and manual selection, current query and related. So if you do not have blog post, you can choose other options such as pages, landing pages, products, testimonials. So it depends on what plugins you have on your website. By default, it will take blog post. If you select pages, it will show different pages. You will see different pages here, but you will not see any image because we do not have featured image set up for the pages. What if you want to show different portfolios on the website? So in that case, you can create custom post type for portfolio and you will get the option here for portfolio, just like the post and pages. And we will work on the custom post type feature in the upcoming videos. So as of now, I'm going to select post and it will show three posts. I'm also going to show you how to show the products. So on this dummy website, we do have WooCommerce installed and we have almost six products. So let's start with the blog post. Okay, now let's go to layout. Here you can change the number of columns. Two, three, you can change the number of posts per page. So it can be three, six, nine, and this is the image size. You can change the image size masonry if you have different size then you can also select masonry 
I'll show you the masonry in the gallery when we install the gallery. Okay, so as of now, all the images are of the same size, so it's not going to show any difference here. So let me turn it off. Item ratio, you can change the item ratio. Right now it is on 0 0.66. Let's see how does this look. So it's a kind of rectangle. Let's set it to one. Okay, show title. So when I move the cursor on this blog post, it shows the title of that particular blog post. Okay, if you do not want to show, you can simply turn it off, but it will not show any title there. So people will not be able to recognize what this image is for. Okay, now the title tag, you can change it to H2, H3. Now this is the query that we just saw post. Right now it is set to post. I'll show you how to show the products now include by so if you want to specify in something include by term or author you can select that option if you want to exclude also you can exclude current post manual selection term and author okay avoid duplicates so let's go to include this is for all so this is the filter all past day past week order by date title menu order and a random ascending and descending Okay, you can also ignore the sticky post. If you have any sticky post, you can ignore that. Now let's see the filter bar. Here you do not see any filter bar. Let's select show and show the filter bar by let's say categories. So this is the category. You will see all and blog. Because if you see here, all the blog posts are in the same category, blog. So let me change it and show you. Let me select one of them to uncategorize and update it. Okay, now let me update this one first and let's refresh it. Now here you will see two different categories, all blog and uncategorized. So we have one blog post under uncategorized. So if I select uncategorized, you will see that one blog post. If I select blog, you will see the post in that category all okay so we can enable the filter bar using categories tags product categories product tags okay you will not see these options if you do not have woocommerce or any third party plugin installed all right so now let's go to style so let's add some column gap right now there is no gap so i'm going to add some gap so this is the column gap and this is the row gap Okay, now border radius if you want to add any border you can select the border so you will see the border radius here okay now item overlay right now when i move the cursor on this item you will see the overlay color here so let's change that to something different and you will see the difference okay, now you can also change the opacity of the color okay, you will see this And this is the color of the text. Right now it is white. You can change that text color to green or whatever color you want. So I'm changing back to white. The typography for the text. So if I change it to let's say 25, you will see the increase in the size of the text. Right now filter bar. So this is the filter bar. And let's change the color. You will see the change here. The active, this is the active one. Let's change it to green and you will see the change here typography if you want to change the font size of this filter bar you can change it from here space between so this is the space between change it back to 10 and this is the spacing let's change it to 20. all right so let's save it now let's say how does this look on tablet so if i go to layout and select tablet and you will see this tablet view if i go to mobile view you will see this is the mobile view so for the mobile only one column is there for the tablet we have two column and for the desktop we have three column right now let's see how we can show the woocommerce products so i have a dummy website where i'm going to show the products 
So let's select a section here. Let's add some padding. And under Pro, go to Portfolio. So same widget that I have selected here. So by default, it is going to show the blog post. So I'm going to change the query to products. All right, so on this dummy website, I have different products. So let's go to layout again. And I'm going to select this time number four, four products. And here I'm going to say, let's say, let's show 24 products. So it's going to show 24 products here and four columns. I'm not going to change the image size. I'm going to change masonry. So all the products are of the same size. So it does not look good here when I select masonry. So I'm, I'll disable the masonry. Okay, so item ratio, you will see the item ratio here. Let's change it to one. So it will be something like vertical rectangle. Okay, show title, yes. H3 is the title tag. Let's say products, query will be products. So this is the filter bar, show the filter bar. Here we are going to show the filter bar and we are going to select product categories. Here you will see different categories of the products. Okay, now let's go back to the, let's go to the style and let's add some padding here. So you will see the columns and rows padding. Let's add some border radius. All right, so now let's go to item overlay and change the overlay color. Let's add some opacity. So whatever color you want to select for the overlay, you can select the color. Okay, now color of the text. Let's change it back to white. The white one looks good. Okay, typography, I'm going to change the size of the text. Okay, now the filter bar. So this is the filter bar. Let's change the color to, let's say, this one and the active color change it to a red so this is the active color typography let's change it to 18 all right so space between is good looking good spacing is also good let's change it to 20. okay so you will see all the products listed so we have created the woocommerce product portfolio here now let's let's see how does this look on the tablet so on the tablet, you will see two columns. Let's see how does this look on the mobile. So on the mobile, you will see one column. If you want, you can change the appearance on the mobile. You can select two columns on the mobile also. All right, so let's, let's select two columns for the mobile. All right, let's close this one and let's update it. Now let's see how does this actual work. So when I click on one of the item here, it should open the product page. So let's view the page. So this is the portfolio page of the WooCommerce products. Now let's, let me click on this one. So when I click on this portfolio item, it goes to that particular page. Now let's go to this one and let's view the page. So when I click on this portfolio item, it will go to that particular blog post. So similarly, you can create a portfolio item using custom post type. So we will cover the custom post types in the upcoming videos. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.